Well, for about the last four months, we have been torque testing every single drill that we can get our hands on. Now, no company has provided us with a single tool, not a battery, not a bit, not a drill, nothing. We have paid for each and every one of these drills with our own money. We actually have more to test, but you guys have been waiting long enough and there have been enough of you asking for us to compile a list of who's the best, who's the strongest. Well, we're going to do that tonight. So starting out at number one, which is the weakest, and going all the way until we get to our strongest. Now, I hope you stick around for that because we've worked hard to compile this list to do these tests. And uh, by the way, think about becoming a member because that is the best way to uh, support the channel. Every media platform that we're on, we do have a membership for you or not the hyper tough this is the brushless model it does have a fully charged 1.5 amp hour battery uh, it is in speed one it is in drill mode that's 4.5 foot pounds of torque the 12 volt makita fd09 it does have a fully charged 2 amp hour battery that is 5.4 foot pounds of torque the makita xfd 11 using a fully charged 5 amp hour battery 12.4 foot pounds of torque power right angle drill it does have a 5 amp hour fully charged battery 12.7 foot pounds of torque the skill 529301 drill driver and it has a fully charged 2 amp hour battery That is 14.7 foot-pounds of torque. The Metabo HPT, this is their subcompact drill driver. It has a fully charged 8 amp-hour battery. That is 14.8 foot-pounds of torque. The Makita XFD11. And it does have a fully charged 3 amp-hour battery. 15.1 foot-pounds of torque. The Bauer Brushless Hammer Drill. It has a fully charged 5 amp-hour battery. 15.8 foot-pounds. M12 Hammer Drill. This is the Gen 2. It has a fully charged 6 amp-hour battery. So you've got 16.6 foot-pounds of torque. Heart brushless drill driver and a fully charged 4 amp hour battery that is 16.7 foot pounds of torque the rigid subcompact right angle drill model on this is R8701 it does have a fully charged 6 amp hour battery that is 17.3 foot-pounds of torque. Craftsman hammer drill, and it has a fully charged 4 amp hour battery. And it got 18.6 foot-pounds of torque. DeWalt Atomic DCD708. It is fully charged with a 5 amp hour XR battery. Our torque meter. Watch her go. That is 18.8 foot-pounds of torque. Brushed Porter Cable Drill Driver. A model number on it is PCC601. Has a 2 amp hour battery that is fully charged. It got 19 foot-pounds of torque. The rigid subcompact drill driver. And we're going to use a fully charged 6 amp hour battery. That is 19.4 foot-pounds of torque. The brand new rigid Gen 2 subcompact drill driver. It has a fully charged 6 amp hour max output battery. I know it's not the tool for that. But we're going to continue to use it because it stresses the tool. So that is 19.9 foot-pounds of torque. The Ryobi PBLM or HM101 hammer drill. It has a fully charged 4 amp hour high output battery. So 
So that's 20.9 foot-pounds of torque. The Hercules, this is their brushed hammer drill. It has a fully charged 5 amp hour battery. So that is 20.9 foot-pounds of torque. The Milwaukee Gen 3 Hammer Drill M12. We have a fully charged 6 amp hour battery. That is 20.9 foot-pounds of torque. DeWalt. DCD709. It has a fully charged 5 amp hour battery. 21.5. The DCD1800. It does have a fully charged 1.7 amp hour power stack battery. That is 21.4 foot-pounds of torque. The rigid R86115 brushless hammer drill. So we have 22.8 foot-pounds of torque. The Hart hammer drill, it has a fully charged 4 amp hour battery. That is 22 0.8 foot-pounds of torque. The Metabo HPT 18-volt hammer trill. It has a fully charged 8-amp-hour battery. 24.3. The Flex entry-level hammer drill. That is 26.6 foot-pounds of torque. The Cobalt XTR hammer drill. We have a fully charged 4 amp hour battery or 27.7 foot pounds of torque. Brand new cobalt brushless drill driver. Model number on this is KDD 1248 03. It has a fully charged 2 amp hour battery. That is 28 foot-pounds of torque. The rigid octane hammer drill. It also has a fully charged 6 amp hour octane battery. 31.5. The Bosch GSB18V975C. And we have a fully charged 4 amp hour battery. I'll tell you I don't care. And we have 31.4 foot-pounds of torque. All right, tonight we're going to test the Makita. This is their XPH-14 hammer drill. It has a fully charged 5 amp-hour battery. Oh, 32.5 foot-pounds of torque. The rigid R861152 hammer drill. It does have a fully charged 6 amp-hour high-output battery. That is 34 foot-pounds of torque. Of the DCD-999, it has a fully charged 6 amp hour flex volt battery. <laughs> 38.7 foot-pounds of torque. 36 volt Metabo HPT. It has a fully charged 4 amp hour battery. 39.9, the Milwaukee 2904, and we have a fully charged 6 amp hour battery. And there you can see 44.1 foot pounds of torque. The Flex Hammer Drill, and it has a 6 amp hour lithium pouch cell battery. Forty-eight point four, and she's smoking, folks. The Milwaukee twenty-eight oh four. This is the Gen three hammer drill. It has a fully charged six amp hour battery. Forty-eight 
48.6 inch pound, or foot pounds of torque. That's awesome. So after watching the video, I can tell you now uh, there are some clear winners, some clear losers in this. Uh, HyperTough kind of set itself apart as being by far the worst. But that 12-volt Makita was right there. And overall, Makita had a very poor showing. It was the weakest in the 12-volt line. Uh, as far as the major brands go, it was the weakest in the subcompact line, even though it had two bites of the apple. It was the weakest in the mid-torque and high-torque. So uh, overall, Makita had the worst showing, I think, of all the major brands that are out there. Uh, DeWalt showed up very well, very impressive uh, from them. I, I really like that 999. That is one of my favorite hammer drills of all time. But this video would not be complete if we did not mention how well TTI stood out, both rigid and Milwaukee. That Milwaukee 2804 blew everyone's doors off with how powerful it is. Uh, what a great product it was. Unfortunately, they decided to stop making it. They went to the 2904, which didn't test as well, but didn't have some of the heat issues and, and early cutoff issues of the 2804, which is a nice improvement. And Flex, Flex really did stand out as far as their overall power. Uh, extremely good in the mid-torque range and one of the best, if not maybe the best overall, in that high torque, even though it didn't get the highest rating. Uh, Bosch, I really wish I could have spent more time getting more of their products. I kind of came late to the game with Bosch, but that 975 and their uh, installation driver, the Chameleon, were both very impressive. I did not include the Chameleon on the list because it is an installation driver. It is not a drill driver in the traditional sense, so it was left off the list. But the 975 was very impressive. Makes me want to get out the go out and get that 1330 of theirs. So overall, I think everybody showed well. Metabo HPT with a huge surprise. But uh, yeah, I got to give it to TTI as the overall winner. Milwaukee, still the best.